Welcome to the paradox of an African royal luxury. Welcome back to this channel. Today we will look at an African royal's life. Before we proceed, please watch this video to the end. And if you want it, give it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to this channel. God bless you. The Paradox of African Royal In the tapestry of African history, the threads of royalty gleam with the luster of grandeur and the somber tones of adversity. The lives of African royals are etched with stories of splendor and tales of caution, reflecting the duality of their existence. Herein lies an exploration of the contrasting sides of the royal coin, the remarkable and the cautionary. The pinnacle of prosperity, the good. The African royal stands as a beacon of prosperity and tradition. In realms where tradition dances with modernity, these royals have embraced their heritage while steering their nations towards progress. Educational initiatives, charitable foundations, and cultural preservation efforts often find staunch supporters in the figures of kings and queens. Their palaces serve as cultural hubs, preserving art and history. The royal influence has often been the catalyst for peace and diplomacy. The royal words carry centuries of weight, and their actions can bridge divides. International forums, environmental causes, and global dialogues benefit from their incredible depth of wisdom and experience. The extravagance of excess. Yet, the essence of royalty, the luxury, can sometimes lead to excess. Some have faltered under the weight of gold, succumbing to the temptations that a life of privilege can bring. Stories circulate of fortune squandered, parties rivaling ancient feasts in their decadence, and reckless decisions made behind the gilded doors. In these moments, the royal appearance is tarnished by scandals and whispers of discontent. The divine balance, a royal as a god. In the eyes of their people, the royal is often seen as a demigod, a figure of immense moral and spiritual authority. This divine perception is a source of strength for many, inspiring them to lead with wisdom and compassion. They are the custodians of their culture's soul, embodying their lineage's highest ideals and aspirations. The shadow of hubris, the tragedy. Nevertheless, this divine expectation can be a dangerous pedestal for any mortal. When the line between person and deity blurs, it can lead to a disconnect, breeding hubris, and a sense of invincibility. In these shadows, tragedy may lurk, as the pressure to maintain an image of perfection can lead to isolation, poor judgment, and ultimately downfall. Conclusion The life of an African royal is a narrative of contrast. It is a life where every luxury is possible and every action is imbued with the weight of history. For all their human flaws, these royals embody a resilience and a dedication to their people that can inspire nations. Their stories serve as a reminder of the good that power can do when wielded with wisdom and the pitfalls that come with the human condition. African royalty and wisdom. Royal benevolence. One major takeaway in this story is that African kings are like fathers to their people and they are closer to the people. And they always provide spiritual leadership to their people. In this delicate balance, the African royal continues to navigate the intricate dance between legacy and modernity, between the individual and the crown. Indeed, African kings will remain relevant for a long time. We have reached this video's end. I would appreciate your help by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to this channel. God bless you.